All right, folks, I've been given the green light by Tech. Here we go. Mitch Flower Power and Hacks are in a Super Mario Brothers 3 co op 100%. Take it away. Good luck and have fun, y'all. Hey, everybody. I'm the Haxer. He's I'm Mitch. Mitch Flower Power. <laughs> What's going on, guys? This is SMB3 100% co op. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for upgrading this run because we had so much faith in you guys. We didn't even practice Warpless. We knew this was happening. We, <laughs> we knew it. We knew this was time. happening. So. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. I'll do the countdown. Three, two, one, go. And uh, we'll be Absolutely. ready to go start the timer. All right. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. One, one, world one. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's go, Mitch. Hardest level right here. So we're going to... Let's go past some of the charts here. Tough stuff, tough stuff. Yep. All right. All right. I mean, he makes it look easy. I'm telling you, this level, you feel good getting out of it. All right, the hardest part of the run is over. Okay. <laughs> so, um, this run is just like two player. I play a level, then Hax is going to play a level. Um, we don't share items. So, uh, if Haxer gets, you know, P Wing or a Star, only he can use it. So, we want to set it up so that he is on those levels at that time. It's a it's an extremely uh, strategic for routing, much more than, than one player. One player, you just go as fast as you can. Uh, Co-op is, sometimes we need to backtrack, sometimes Ham Brothers get in our way, sometimes all we get is flowers at the end of the level, which I got a flower too, I don't know. Yep. I don't know why, seems but... Um, normal, I guess. Yeah, and we're going to use auto-scrollers for um, donation reading, and guess what? First auto-scroller right now, so take it away, Sky. All right, sounds good, Mitch. A lot of love for all y'all here. I just wanted to say $50 from NNS, who says, Couch couple who loves GDQ and all you do. So excited for the Marios. Go, Mitch. Oh, my goodness, y'all. We have a $10,000 donation from oh. Band Gamer, who says, Hey, everyone, Band Gamer here. This week has zoomed by so quickly, it feels like a speed run. This is your last day to get in orders for the official Band Gamer SGDQ 2021 collection. 10, 100% of the profit from sales of GDQ merch through the end of the event goes directly to MSF. We'll be sending in donations as long as the orders keep coming in, so be sure to get your orders in soon. Check out the collection at fangamer.com slash GDQ. And again, thank you so much again, Fangamer, for that 100% of the profit that goes to MSF. We appreciate that so much. Do we have time for one more? We do. Yep. We, we should, yeah. Okay, we have another $10,000 donation oh from God. Blanks. Oh my gosh, who says, thanks to all the runners and support staff for running another awesome week-long event. So much good stuff this week. And now co-op SMB3, sweet. Thank you very much for your donation. Back to y'all. All right, so I just want to be a little quiet there. Haxer's got a little bit of a stressful level there. If we ever go really quiet, it's definitely to uh, give the other player yeah. a little bit of time because you're talking over, you know, some distractions here. Uh, that's, I guess that's one of the downfalls of co-op. If sure. anyone's ever had little brothers and sisters, <laughs> you guys know how it is. But this time we're trying to work together here. Yeah, you'll notice we're a little close. So, you know, when I say something, it's right in his ear. Yeah, um, yeah. but he did that level very nicely. So, you're yeah, welcome. and you know, this level, Part of the reason why we have him get that power up in one one is so he can take this level kind of nice and easy like that. Very you know? easy. Normally in Warpless, you got to go down, grab the leaf, fly up. A lot of you have seen it, but this time not so much. Uh, Hammer Brother is in a very um, kind of annoying situation here. He's going to do one five. I don't want to fight the Hammer Brother. And anyone who's watched a Mario 3 run knows that the Hammer Brothers, they don't care what you want. They, they'll do whatever they want. Um, but luckily, um, we made sure we practiced a run that, that gets this Hammer Brother early. We just have to mildly modify our World 2. Yeah. Um, it's, it'll actually kind of make for more of an exciting run because we're gonna have to do extra on the fly stuff. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty good. But World 1 doesn't have any on the fly plan. So hopefully a movement of right or left. Yes, yes and we got perfect. it. Okay, so the Hammer Brother's not in my way. So we are on track. Uh, for what we need to do. And normally this would be a pretty nerve-wracking level with the usual strat here. Um, what he did in the world record is he actually damage boosted with this tail through this Koopa, um, but he's not going to do that here just for a little bit of safety. It only saves about half a second anyway, so just, you know, getting this triple flower. Just <laughs> Mitch Flower Power, guys! Mitch Flower Power! 
That, that was kind of crazy. You lost peace speed and still got it. So. Uh, there it is. The extra lives, guys. We need them. <laughs> Not really, but we need them. Let's go. Not too big of a deal. <laughs> um, so... Uh, getting a fanfare at the end with the triple card is a time loss. Luckily, getting mushroom and flower is the same amount of time. Star is what you don't want. You don't want three stars. Um, so I lost about maybe a second, maybe a second and a half there. Um, and anyone who knows Mario 3, world record's lost now. Can't do it. <laughs> Gotta reset, right? World 1 again. Have fun, guys. <laughs> right? And speaking of, you know, those auto-scrolling things, you know, we got one of those right here. So, Sky, what do you have for us right now? Yeah, take it away, Sky. All right, we have plenty more donations here to come. Thank you so much. We have a $100 from host fam Bobby Blackwolf, who says, what's this? Another auto-scroller? Go Luigi and Red Luigi. Ooh. Thanks so much to everyone for making this week a week to remember. Let's get that level one Kingdom Hearts 2 run. We have $50 right from Bighead1 who says, let's get that SMB3 no wrong warp incentive hit. So let's go right back over to that incentive right now. Oh my goodness, y'all. We are almost to that incentive. $97,208 out oh of 100000 Get hype. We're almost there. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, guys. You, you want to see me cross the hand stages, don't you? Yes. You got the hands. <laughs> yeah, this is a level you won't see in that category. <laughs> All right, do we have time for one more? Yep, we do have time for one more. All right, we have $50 from Optic Blast, who says SMB3 is a great game that means a lot to a friend of mine who also enjoys watching SGDQ. Thanks to Mitch Flowerpower and the Hacksaw for running SMB3. Also, thanks to all the SGDQ 2021 runners, donators, and all the staff at GDQ. Hype! Let's do it, y'all. Hype. Hype it up. So we're actually on a pretty good pace right now. Uh, not many mistakes. Uh, pretty clean peace speed strategies. The fortress was good, um, so yeah, we're gonna keep trying to uh, we're gonna keep trying to gun it out here and go for the uh, top tier strats. No safe strats just yet. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Yeah, the uh, the interesting thing about the co-op, whoever beats the airship on the previous world gets to play the first level in the next world. So so I'm playing again. Yep, but he gets to play twice in a row. I it's easy to tell right now because he's orange and you know I'm still green. And we're hopefully going to fix that by the end of this world, but we'll I'm see. Green Mario. <laughs> so, uh, Hammer Brother movement, you move to the right, not quite what you want to see, but again, we've kind of dealt with a lot of situations here, so we know what we want. Right on, so uh, Haxus should be pretty good here. I mean, he might fall in the moat, but nothing's worse than taking a death. We'd have to switch back and forth, but uh, that one jump off the brown block is probably one of the scariest jumps in this world, I'd say. There's... The, the pyramid's a harder level, but that jump in particular, like the pyramid won't kill you. Yeah. It'll just take away a power up, but that that will, if you miss your A input, you will take yep. a death there, which is unfortunate. So um, so the end spade card games, I if, if everything's correct, I should spawn one after this correct. level behind Haxer. Yeah, so those spawn on the previous level that you've beaten. So the goal for this run is typically we're getting Mitch to spawn these throughout the run. Yeah. Every 80,000 points too, and it continues to carry, so 80. Yeah, and so when I cross 80, I, I'm not gonna spawn one, it's the next 80 multiple. So That's it'll be right. 160, then 240, 320, etc. So so if I hit 80 and then Haxer hit 160, he would spawn it. Yep. So these are really important, we don't wanna play these, they cost about 13 seconds if you have to enter one, and if everything goes... And you can only spawn one per world. Yeah. Right? If, yeah. So if we hit 160, we're not going to spawn another one, but when we start the next world, it'll spawn instantly. Yeah. So here's an interesting new strat. I'm probably going to be a little quiet once he gets a little closer, but we call it the green rocket strat. And let's, let's see how he does here. Very nice. So what you want to do is you want to grab that rocket, and what it's going to do is it's going to keep the P-speed momentum, and that shell's going fast. That's much faster than just stomping the shell and throwing it. So that's actually a little bit of a time save there. Um, and I'm glad that worked. That wasn't really... Yeah. It was like 50 in practice, 50% here there. So yeah. great that it worked. That's made, made an adjustment, a little adjustment that, that helped. So, so I'm going to scroll. I'm going to screen scroll. Yep. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is good. And everyone in chat, you need to spam up. We need to see the Hammer Brother on the right side. Move up, guys. Everyone spam up as hard as you can. Make that Hammer Brother move, please. We need your help. That Hammer Brother on the right side, we need him to move up. And only Twitch Cat can help. 
Let's go! Come on, guys. Let's go up. Uh, you know what? For the we Scammer got this. Brother battle, Sky. We got time for one, I think. This is great. <laughs> yes. Speaking of things moving up, chat's energy worked. We did just hit the any percent no wrong warp incentive. So thank you so much for doing that. Let's get that 2.5 million, y'all, before the end of this run. I believe in Twitch chat. Let's do oh, another donation so really quick here. $50 <laughs> from... He moved up again. Thank you, Twitch <laughs> chat. Oh, man, let's go. This is by far the most ideal world two. Sorry, had to be quiet there for a sec, had to yep. focus. This is the most ideal World 2 that we could ask for. This did not happen in practice. Not once. <laughs> not <laughs> once. <laughs> Fantastic. We are on world record pace right now. This is pretty exciting. Hammer Brothers very fussy. Very nice. Couple little, a couple little jumps there we want to make sure... Um, uh, he's got a lot of control over, but it, it worked out pretty fine. Normally, you have Fire Flower, and you kind of shoot that red turtle, but yep. in this instance, we didn't get that lucky in World 1, so kind of had to do it. So the reason we wanted the Hammer Brother to go up is because I want to get this hammer, and then, oh my goodness, uh, great this movements for one here. He's right where I need to be. Everyone knows the secret, right? So um, this is a great example. If Haxer fought this Hammer Brother after I did the next level, we wouldn't be able to leave the world. Yep. We would have actually had to battle because he had the hammer, so... Uh, this is actually working out really nicely. And everybody, one of everybody's favorite levels, you know, the pyramid here. Pretty technical stage. Give Haxer a little bit of quiet time, that, that's okay. That's the P-speed right here, yep, with the jump grab. Might lose it again here, which is okay. So, you guys know that I mentioned earlier that that one jump was the hardest jump in World 2. Um, this doesn't have a hardest jump, but this is the most physically demanding yeah. stage. A lot of left rights, uh, a lot of don't let go of B, P speed might build, it might not. Yeah. It's really, really jabatey, so we killed it. I've got a great history at the pyramid, you know? Yeah, the pyramid and I go, we go way back. So I know my hammer is in the very back slot, so I just press B, make sure I'm going a little slow. If I hit that warp whistle, our run's over, so I gotta make sure. It's a problem. It's a big problem. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Sky, we have time. Oh. We do. We have time. We're back. Oh, Mario 3, what a surprise. Another auto-scroller. <laughs> um, I just want to note... I think I think we can. What? Door 3? I, it's close. I th you think we can? I, I know we can. Why? I, I, the run's all. pretty good. It's pretty good. The run's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. good. We'll come up with some after. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. If three two doesn't work, maybe seven seven later. You know, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, seven seven's a good one too. Yeah, we'll yeah. see how this goes. <laughs> all right, take it away, guys. Sorry. I was gonna say something about the fortress in World Five, but I'll keep my mouth shut about that oh. one. All right. <laughs> oh, please no. That one's yeah. the worst. Ooh. I would much rather door three than I... Jesus clip. No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. All right. So there is something that came up chat had discussed it we do have another challenger approaching in terms of incentives so how do you all feel about a bogo at 2.5 million that's right the kingdom hearts 2 final mix sephiroth super boss fight has opened up if we hit the 2.5 million not only will we get to see that upgraded run in difficulty for kingdom hearts 2 we will also get to see the sephiroth super boss fight so if you would love to see the one winged angel please go get those donations in. Now let's get to some donations really quickly here before we exit the auto-scroller. Uh, we have $50 from the survivor who says, here's some support for a brilliant cause and good luck to both runners. Stop, Glad stop. that both the Mario brothers are pulling effort to save the kingdom today. We have time for a couple more? Um, one more. We have, yeah, we have time for a quick one. Yep. All right, 50, uh, sorry, uh, $300 from Courtney Rail, who says, have loved watching the event all week and had to donate during Mitch and Haxer's run of SMB3. Thank you so much to all the GDQ staff and runners for everything. Let's get that 2.5 million. All right, back Whee! to y'all. I'm, I'm interested in the door through discussion, but I don't want to cause too much trouble. <laughs> so the boss pattern there was strange. He did something that... He, we I haven't mean, really heard, seen. Yeah, you've heard this. That never happened before. But no, that didn't happen before. Even from that position, we had that exact same thing several times. And, uh, you know. Oh, just, frame jump, frame jump. So right. Hex is on a, a pretty easy level, um, which is going to set us up. Um, 
He should be spawning the spade card in this world if all goes well. Yeah. Um, and he does have the music box, so he's in control. Um, normally, I don't care. Just as long as the next level goes right. Uh, next level's 3 2, and that one's probably the most unfun level yeah. in the speedrun, so I really be hope. A uh, little quiet here for me. Yeah, a little quiet just for me. It's, just tell he's, you know, it's a stressful level. Quiet. That's a great movement, too. We don't want Runaway Bro. Even though it's 100%, we don't want it. Nice! Good Let's ball. go, guys! That is not marathon safe, but we do it anyways, because it's GDQ <laughs> Honestly, for a good cause. it's like the safest way to play the level. <laughs> no, that's just, too scary, man. They just jump right through you otherwise, so... Not music box yet. Yep. No, I have to. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, very nice. He's got to do a little readjusting. He already did it, which is very nice, and he's in there. And we're, we're far away from coin ships, too. We don't have to worry about coin ships. These levels, we're going to be a little bit more quiet and more focused on our discussion in this world because yeah. this is when it really starts to kick in. You can already see that we were like, do we music box, do we not? Just do it, do it, get it out of the way. Yeah. Um, so they're asleep now, which means they're not going to get in my way, uh, which is really good. Um, so we're, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Uh, Fortress isn't too bad. We got a lot of doors. I know we got the door three meme, but this run is very beautiful right now. Uh, we really like this run. Nice, and we get the momentum up the stairs and build peace speed. Door six. It's twice as good as door three. It's uh, it's just twice the amount, guys. Trust me. Door I mean, six is math. great. That's simple math right there. <laughs> so we did this so that this didn't happen. Fantastic. That's exactly what we didn't want to happen. So he's gonna do four, and hopefully they don't get in my way. Very nice, okay, he's already passed the hard part. It's pretty pretty basic after this, about three full big jumps. Uh, and looking pretty good, our coin count's very nice. Not too bad. Yeah. Hopefully, we don't want a Hammer Brother to come on this water tile. That's right beside me. And it looks like they didn't! Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness! Thank you. What Thank is you this right now? So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and P-Wing and show off my embarrassing inventory. Two warp whistles, that's all I got, guys. Yeah, you got a couple nice whistles in there that take you to <laughs> some far off lands. You yeah. know, you wanna go on vacation? You guys wanna go to World 9? <laughs> Alright, so this level's pretty easy. Now, Haxer is gonna have to fight the Hammer Brother that's closest mm -hmm. to 3-6, yep. so... Essentially, Hax is my bodyguard. He's just clearing the yeah, path for me. Just, You're just clearing just, the path. Just clearing the trash. That's what Luigi does in this run. Yeah, <laughs> Luigi just clears the trash. Mario. And, I mean, trash cleared. They cleared themselves. They did. Yep. <laughs> so you fight that one, and uh, we're good to go. So the reason Haxer is fighting more Hammer Brothers than me is because we need to start having him get less points and me more points. Enough said. <laughs> That's all we gotta say. And since Mitch is, you know, entering another one of those, it's been three levels, so we got an auto-scroller here. Oh look, another auto-scroller. What Sky. a surprise. What, what are those updates you got for us? Moldy Donut! <laughs> Moldy <laughs> Donut! I don't want to take this moment away from Mitch, but... <laughs> <laughs> another Moldy Donut! <laughs> Guys, we gotta get rid of the Moldy Donuts. Nobody... Alright, there, it's gone. It's gone. Get rid of them. All right. Ew! All right, sorry, Sky. You guys. You no, guys. you're fine. We're getting very, very close to that 2.2 million, by the way, y'all. And again, don't forget to choose Sephiroth when you are donating. Again, that is an incentive, but it just happens to line up with that 2.5 million. With that being said, we have a $287.70 donation from Accident, who says, "I want to thank everyone for another amazing event. Good luck with SMV3. Let's get that 2.5 million upgrade to level one critical for Kingdom Hearts 2. But then why stop there? Let's push." this thing to three million i love the way y'all are thinking thank you so much for that and of course we have never counting sheep with 50 dollars saying smb3 hype good luck to mitch and haxer thank you to commentators for the entertaining week and thank you to runners for putting on an awesome show also mitch i, I gotta ask about the donuts thing i mean why why do you need to get them off the screen so much well, nobody wants the moldy, moldy donuts yeah i mean they're donut blocks and we turn them green mold you know Nobody likes moldy donuts. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, you like fresh donuts. Yeah, That's fresh why. donuts. They started off fresh. I don't know 
how I turn the moldy. I guess Mario's got to take a shower after this run. <laughs> All right. So Haxer finished the Hammer Brothers, and um, this level's pretty easy. It seems like the boss pass is going to get you. Um, all he's waiting for is a missed input, really. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're holding up and right, you will get the jumps. And yep. you just jump every time you're in the water. The key is holding up. Never let go of up. Yeah, Mario Mario 3 did a weird thing where they decided you had to make sure that you hold up to jump out of water. It's not just A at the top. Um, and that was kind of new at the time. But Mario 1 didn't even really have, like, jumping out of water, did it? No. And neither did Mario 2, I don't think. The entire underwater section. Yeah. So Haxer's in kind of an easy level, not really, but it's kind of visually satisfying. So let's take a silent and uh, take a look. Oh, it's so awesome. And that, that's such a heavy leg spot, and uh, it probably feel, it feels great to do, and you're just on this climb, yeah. right? Like, every jump is, like, up a stair. Yeah. It's fantastic. Oh, what a great level. So I'm going to do the second. I do the hardest levels in this world. Um, yeah. So this is the next one. We call it the H jump. Get your H ready, chat. Get your H's ready. Lowercase H. Get them out. Beautiful. Let's go! We Beautiful. got the H! Beautiful. This is a gold split world three if I've ever seen one. Yeah, Probably so he, not, but maybe. So he he side jumps off that ba bomb to set him up nicely on the ground so he can get over that H comfortably. You know, that's what he does to do it. And yeah, that's, people jump off of it, but yeah. you, you do the side jump. Yeah, I do the yeah. side jump. Um, and the reason why we use the bomb altogether for that jump, and there's a lot of questions about that, is that the bombs are fixed jumps. No matter how hard you hold A on a bomb to do a full big jump, the bomb will still only give you a small jump. So that's why we use the bomb. It sets you up great. All right, fantastic, looking good. Uh, so there's a super swim at the start of this, and um, Haxer was like 98% um, in practice, and uh, just, the, just the last two runs it didn't work for you, I, so it's unfortunate. Yeah. He didn't really lose that much time, but it, it's like a it's like a kick in the shins. It's yeah. something that- It's something that's pretty easy. It's not hard, you just hold down yeah. when you jump, but you guys know, brick controllers, they're all over the place. They never know what they're doing. Down inputs, what are those? But down inputs. <laughs> You guys mind if I take apart my controller and uh, fix it before we get back to this one? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have another auto scroller come up here with kind of an infamous enemy, which is gonna make the Baconator very easy. The Baconator. The Baconator, Wendy. Wendy. Yeah. Y'all are making um, chat hungry over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, speaking of time. chat. Can you believe it? We did hit the 2.2! We are now- Yeah, let's go! Oh, so excited. We have $300,000 to go until the incentive, but oh my gosh, thank you all so much for that. Let's keep this train rolling, y'all. Let's see some $5, and uh, I haven't seen a pun yet, and I'm on shift, so let's see if we can change a little bit of that. I love puns. Mario puns, bad puns. Make me put Mitch and Haxer through this, all right? We have a $1,200 donation from Dennis, who says, amazing event. Huge thanks to all the runners, commentators, hosts, and GDQ staff for all the hard work to support a great cause. Hey Mitch, don't forget to make sure the Haxer doesn't bump that console or maybe go ahead. Who doesn't Never. want more Mario? 2.5 <gasps> million hype. Thank you very much. Just uh, just set the record straight. I am beside the console. <laughs> ever since that tragic thing happened, I've been the console guard ever since. It's on the table as well, so <laughs> it's, it's far away. Yes, Two, please. Four, six, eight, ten. See you later, Wendy. All right. Very easy. See? Guys. One get. It, one get. If you want to take out Wendy really easy, just go in with fire and mash the B button real well. That's it. That's all you need to do. There it is. One get, baby. <laughs> just get in there and mash. Just get in there and mash. Mash it real good. So World 4 has no auto-scrollers, and it also has... Uh, this is where it starts spicing up uh, yeah. because we have screen transitions where we can't see the Hammer Brothers, where the other worlds mostly we could see them. So uh, this is where Haxer and I are probably going to go really into, really into our thing. And because we've seen the future and done the math, we know that Mitch is not going to spawn the end card after he plays this level. Right. So that's so a strat that Mitch has really hated 
my entire life. His, yeah, his entire SMB3 career, and he just started doing it. And I know he's wanted to back out of doing it. I wanted times. to so bad, I so thought about it. The fact that he went for it and got it, that's incredible. Congrats. All right, so you don't have a music box, but I do. So if he moves up uh, and to the right, right. Yep. I should music box here. If move up and to the right. So we want the Hammer Brother to move up and right. Okay, um, so this is, so that's really interesting. Haxer bounces off that red Koopa there and it despawns one of the Piranha Plants. Don't know why. Video games, right? Yeah. Such ridiculous things sometimes, yep. but it despawns it, um, allowing Haxer to grab the block and then use that block on the second Piranha Plant, um, letting you go faster. Very, one of those weird things. You'll play it yourself and be like, why can't I get it to look like the way they do it? And it's because that one silly thing. Yep. Okay, so I don't music box yet. So we have an unfortunate world four here that we have to kind of play by ear. Yep. Um, this is going to be a level you probably recognize, very visually appealing level um, that he's going to go through. Not particularly difficult. Um, he's done a lot, um, but it, a very, very cool level to watch. That's probably the hardest jump he just did there, that duck jump to up, avoid up. that spiny that's coming down from the ceiling. So a very good level there from Mitch. Very nice, very nice, looking really good. So, we want him to come up in between, right? Yep. Oh, he could still do it. That's good though, that's good. If he doesn't, I music box. Yep. Let's go! Celebrated too early. I feel like I, I feel like I frigged that. We got the points, so we have to just kill the lack two and five four, right? No, 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 because our, our bros are fine right now. So okay, it's okay, fine. it's fine. I, hey, you still did the best part of that level. I don't care. That was great. That was fantastic. I hate that jump out of there, man. Let's go up, go up. Yes. That's good, right? That's good. That's, That's really fantastic. Good. That's really okay. Yeah. I know. I uh, dude. I have the biggest commentator's curse. I swear. And the points tournament, I made so many people lose just because I'm like, yeah, go for this. But Mitch, you're, <laughs> you're not commentating. You, you can't blame a commentator. You're running this. <laughs> right? But I, I still feel like... You did commentary <laughs> for one level. <laughs> I ruined it. Another stressful level here. Okay. Nice, very nice. So, so hacks are trying to readjust there, but the Lakitu's are just like, they're just like glued to you. So yeah. even the turn back, it caused them to take damage, but this is okay. We're gonna set it up so that he can get, do I have music box here still? I, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, 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 I do. I have music box here. Yeah. Yeah, and unfortunately I, I dropped an up input. So, this is a really, he got it. Oh my goodness, he's saving it. I'm saving he's it! Saving I it. saved oh it! Oh my god. Yes! That's not how you're supposed to do it, but he saved it. So. Oh, I can't believe I got peace for you. That, that's the hardest Holy part. Crap. You saved it. That's wild. <laughs> I don't know why my brain was like, don't go to the cloud. It's the safest right. place. Don't right. go there. Oh. Maybe Fortress free? No, okay. Then he got the delay there. Yep. Boy back. Yep, you might want to get the star too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, so Axer's going to do some backups. These are very, very smart backups because, like we said before, um, if a death happens, uh, it's this is 10 seconds versus a death that's 50 seconds. Okay, so um, Axer's wait, facing right, right? Facing right. Facing so we got to right. figure out which bro is which. Which bro is facing right? Top bro. Yep. Remember, remember what we said in the interview, guys. I need two P wings. I already got one and a cloud. I have a P wing and a cloud, so we are good. So now Haxer's gonna go for the Hammer Brother here. Of course, he goes to the one of the furthest uh, spaces. Doesn't help him out. <laughs> Very nice. Whew. Very nice run. So we have a fortress here which has a really annoying P-Speed that is kind of random, but not, like you can get it 10 times in a row and then three times never get it. 
All right, we got it. Very nice. So we got the side jump off the the dry boons. Yeah, that first jump on the steps is really difficult. Um, you, if you rub it all on any of the walls or the steps, you just cannot get these speed usually. So, um, yeah, very nicely done there, Mitch. And coming up is the most... Definitely get the backup lead. Yeah. Uh, just in case. If, well, there's a block in the... Oh, he could jump through me. That's right. Yeah, if he goes through you two times, you'll, yeah, you'll die. Okay. But here, if he goes through you once, it's risky. Okay. Yeah, so definitely get the backup lead. And then take... Damage on either the stairs or the bottom section. Damage the stairs, I think, would be the best, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. sure. For sure, sure. Okay. But anyway, the most Sorry. infamous auto scroller in SME3 right here, and uh, this might be a great time for some more of those uh, donation things. All right, that sounds good. And I will say it before anybody else does, greetings from the World 4 airship. Anyways, I'm going to try to speed run as many of these donos as I can. There are so many <laughs> so many folks donating during this. We very much appreciate it. We have $50 from Sephiroth, who says, fight me. Fight me. We have a $5 donation from Rainfox, who says, do I hear the one-winged angel in the background? I think so, and I know others are too. Come on, GDQ crew, let's get this $5 hype train going and hit that 2.5 million. Xandra donates $25 saying, hi, Sky, hi, Xandra. Thank you and the entire sp staff for putting on such an amazing and heartwarming marathon this week. And for the runners, good luck. You got this. I will double my donation if you complete this run without throwing Yoshi into a pit. Give them both of you the side eye right now on that. Free. Uh, we love Yoshis. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> A uh, searcher donates $25 saying, Go Mitch and Haxer, please set another world record two nights in a row. Ooh, I feel like I need a little bit of context on that. That sounds good. So remember that uh, incentive goal here, it's giving us energy here. So folks, remember, no incentive left behind. Thank you all so much again. Let's keep things rolling. Uh, a couple more here real quick before we go back into the run. Uh, $250 from Frank and Manda who says, Love watching Mitch destroy SMB3. Let's get more Mario. Back to y'all. All right. I, I personally love Yoshi's, you know. My dog's named Yoshi, so I'm oh, not going to oh, have wait. to worry about any any uh, Yoshi abuse from us. That's right. One more. I'm sorry. We just, we oh, just go got ahead. one more. Okay. We have a $5,000 donation from Uranium Anchor, right. who says... Yo, Ur let's go. Uranium Anchor here. I promise this message won't be as long as last time, as long as it was so long that Discord spat it back at me and I had to give Mellow a pace bin link instead. I'm thankful <laughs> to have another opportunity to help run one of these amazing events. It's been years since I touched Stream Tech, and I cannot overstate just how smooth the experience was despite all the changes that have come in over the years. So I just wanted to shout out everyone who contributed to making that flow so it was seamless. And I'm very grateful that so many of the shifts allowed me to meme all over the layout. Thanks to everyone who always worked so hard to make these events a highlight of my year, and I look forward to seeing you all again in person, hopefully soon. I'm not sure if it was an intentional choice to end SGDQ on Kingdom Hearts 2 again 10 years on, but I, for one, think it's wonderful poetry, especially with Spike on the couch again. Spike, if you had anything to say to yourself 10 years ago, what would it be? For me, it would be to get off a chip in as fast as possible. As I write this, we're creeping up on two 2.2 million, we're past that now. And I'm expecting all of you wonderful stream monsters to make us crack 3 million again by the time I leave the studio one last time and head for the airport. Stay comfy and game on. Thank you so much. All right. Mitch doing 5-2. One of the rare levels in this run that uh, actually you don't get P-Speed in. Um, and he's just going to do these hill slides at the end here. Believe it or not, Mario does actually move faster with sliding speed, so... Um, you know, doing that would actually be faster than building pieces. But anyway, but, uh... So, I don't need to get the peat wing here. Because I got it in four. No, I still need to You're get it, right? still <clears throat> yeah, ideally six five the wing. Six um, we got to figure out my point total because I'm stopping again. Ideally, I would spawn the... It's going to be interesting. I might have to play three again, you know what I mean? Yeah, do I go up first then? P wing, grab P wing and go up if I can. Yeah, potentially. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. So, when you kill a boom boom with fire flower, you get a hundred points. When you stomp on a boom boom, one thousand, three thousand, 
How much more was that? 4,000. 4,000. Another 4,000. That's, that's a lot of points. And we're trying to manage the points, so... Yes. That's, I need the P-Wing. Yep. That's exactly perfect. what we that's want. Perfect. Yep. And this is really cool. I don't need to take the pipe transition. Let's go. Uh, that's one of the cool perks about uh, co-op, is that he takes the pipe transition, uh, destroys the fortress, and then uh, he br he builds the bridge, and I don't need to go. I can just go back down, because pipe transitions take time. I'm going to fight the bro so he doesn't get in your way. Yep. So Hax is going to do the bro first. Yep, he's going to take it safe here. Very nice. He, he cannot afford taking damage here. Uh, because 5-3 is really annoying. You could star it too if you wanted the beginning. So, um, but we're expected to see a somewhat of a slow 5-3 because he doesn't have his Fire Flower, so that's very normal uh, how he's gonna do 5-3 here. And um, normally you would think, well, why don't you have Mitch do it because he's got Fire Flower, do it faster, and it's because I'll get too many points. Yep. We need Haxer to catch up on points. Again, that's another thing that makes this category extremely exciting. Is that we didn't expect to do this world like this. This is just how it how it happened. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'd have gone up and played five four, I would have spawned the card, and he would have had to play it because it would have been on the pipe leading from the tower. So um, this way, I, he's not going to go over on points, hopefully. And then um, you know I will after beating five three, and we won't have to worry about the card. Also, why isn't it your turn after I do the twisty castle? Uh, it's a pipe transition. So yeah, the Twisty yeah, Castle, believe it or not, is the longest pipe transition in the game. Um, it's not a, it's not an actual level, so if you could skip it, uh, it would be allowed, because it's not a level. However, there's no other way to get up to the top here of the world, so we do have to play it. Isn't that weird, guys? The Twisty Castle's not even a level. Wow. You still need that music box, though. I do, I do. Which is good that he moved there, though. Oh. That's okay. No, it's fine. Just take it slow. We just won't P-speed. It's cool. I forgot. Yeah. No, yeah, it's fine. Sure. You have to do it like this. You won't get P-speed here either. Fine. Yeah, I should have started. I was going to. Go. You gotta wait yeah. for this guy. Yep. There you go, nice. Where's the boss pass? <laughs> Where's the boss pass for Red? Yeah. I thought you I was were totally expecting to it to be like this. <laughs> so he didn't lose an input there, so he's happy. He didn't lose an input there, so he's happy. And we got our Fire Flower back. Very happy. So as you guys can see, this is why that's um, a very, very bad thing to happen. And, and the only reason the level was like that was simply because he lost his Fire Flower. Yeah. That's it. That's that's it. That's, yeah. how, that's the only reason. And now, as I mentioned, spawn card. He spawned it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Say, he's I know it's going to be my right way. Yeah, he's got to go backwards. It's, so. it's, it's better than playing the card. Oh, that's the one piece speed you want to get early. Yeah. Uh, no. We got it though. We're good. We're good. This level's got a pretty stressful uh, early piece speed strategy, but mm -hmm. eh, you take him. Take him where you can get him. So hopefully the Hammer Brother does actually move right. He did not, but Haxer is going to do. He's gonna cloud and fight him. the Hammer Brother, and he held I right. Totally forgot. That's okay. Yeah. Might as well just get one of these, then. <laughs> yeah, I got a Fire Flower. Might as well, a little backup there. <laughs> See, that's why you didn't want to do that. <laughs> I'm so used to just holding right, I totally forgot. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Uh. So we are on a Twisty Castle again, and, and again, so when Haxer does the Twisty Castle, uh, he is also going to get another level after this. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what makes it uh, pretty interesting. It's really the only part of the game where something like this kind of happens. Because pipe transitions aren't mm. actually, like, levels, whereas mm -hmm. this one is. And this is the only one. I guess that's what makes World 5 kind of unique. Kind of unique. You could probably cloud right away here and buffer. And then I'll do 7. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll do 7, and then you do 6. Then I'll do the Fortress. Yep. You do 8, I do 9. And then you cloud in past six yep. one. Okay, so everything's back on track, guys. We are looking pretty good. You know, just a slight detour there. <clears throat> so, yeah, what do you, so what do you think, Haxer? If we can get 
If we can get to 2.3 by the time we hit World 7, should you go for 7-7 seven, seven clip? Yeah, I think that's fair. If we can get to 2.3 million. 2.3 million yeah. by the time we get to World 7, Take guys. Some good shots at it. Haxer's gonna go for 7-7 seven, seven clip. He'll try it about four or five times before he realizes that he's just not gonna let him get in in the first place. So he might as well just do the level. What if I get a first try? What if he gets a first try? You guys, if you hit that incentive and we do it, and we get a first try, then we're probably back on world record pace if things work out nice. Because that 7-7 seven, seven clip first try will be faster than a spade card game. True. So, yeah. Let's let's try and get to the 2.3. Do we have time for a couple donations? Uh, we do. We do. Awesome. Well, it wouldn't. I finally found some puns here. I love this. Two hundred dollars from Zargon X, who says, "Let me step up with some Mario puns." When demanded, I've got to deliver. It is a royal pain to think them up, but I'll work on some more ton. And yes, that was the way it actually looked on the sheet. I love it. And of course, a callback from earlier that we ten dollars from Arnak, who says, "What happens if your car breaks down in the Mushroom Kingdom?" It gets towed. Toad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll be here all night, y'all. <laughs> so, uh, shout out to G Bads right here. Um, I'm sure G Bads is in chat right now. I uh, probably said, hey, Mitch, how's it going? So, I just want to shout out G Bads. Not going for Jesus Club, though, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, you got to pony up a little bit more money, you know, if you're going <laughs> to. We're gonna go for that Jesus, go for Jesus Club. Yeah, I got I got a, a pretty dedicated fan who who likes to say hi every World Five, hoping that I'm gonna go for a clip that if you don't get it you die. Sorry, not going for it. Maybe next time. Yeah, yeah, so this level is like the most extremely like basic and pretty easy level, but one missed input, you're yep. dead, right? Because all the platforms are space. Yep. So I wanted to give Haxler some, some quiet time there. Um, yeah, we're finally back on track. So I, I took damage in literally the worst spot in the entire game to take damage in World 4. I mean, it really... Yeah, and it just so happened that I had to do 4-5, and that's yep. where he would have got his Fire Flower back, yep. which is probably what he should have done, but again, there's so many different things that can happen. Yeah, and yeah. We, we try. We, we're trying, guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, no, we're back on track now. We're, we're going. We're going good. Um, we kind of had to do a little bit of weird routing here, and I still played the end card because <laughs> I just remember all that hard work we yeah. did to avoid the end card. Yeah. <laughs> just threw that out the window because you know it happens. It's never there. That's no, the first time I it's know, been there. Yeah. So that's that's why it's like oh. That's right, I wasn't supposed to hold right. And that's the worst part about the fact that I have to wait a turn. I That quick, 30 seconds, forgot, you know? You yep. really have to stay on and stay focused in this run. Oh, uh, my coin count's gone, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, it's gone, <laughs> I did my best. All right, and speaking of, we just played an auto-scroller and guess what? Get another one. Welcome back, Sky. Well, hello, how are y'all doing? And Pretty we are doing well, and guess what? At the beginning of World 6, I'm gonna play another one. Yeah, do oh, that auto scroll. Don't worry, guys, I get Haxer back when I finish World 7. I'll get him back, making me wait all this time. That's great, and there is no shortage of donations here. By the way, y'all made somebody hungry with your Baconator thing, by the way. We have $5 from the Nub Dragon who says, Haxer and Mitch Flower Power, you mentioned Baconators? A perfect combination with some Super Mario Brothers 3. Thank you, everyone, for letting me see my childhood game be run. Always an amazing time and first time donating, so thank you so much. Well, thank you. Have a ton Hope of these $5 trains. What's up? Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I hope he enjoys the Baconator. <laughs> go ahead, Sky, go ahead. I'm sure that's not the only one that was purchased during this. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, $15 from Lobito Works, who says, What's Mario's favorite fabric? Dunham, dunham, dunham. <laughs> <laughs> Love that one. I'm always going to read the puns here. 
Uh, we have $25 from Akira Kadiyama who says, to not obtain these last two bonuses would be a critical mistake on our part. Let's mix things up and make sure this final run is the finest of all the kingdom and Sora uh, the skies of our hearts. Oh my gosh, it was an incentive pun that's even better. I'm excited about that. Speaking of incentives here, quick update here before we leave this segment. Sephiroth is currently $32,527 out of $280,000 and one dollar of course in addition to that um so that and we also have our 2.5 million we're almost to 2.225 so i guess that is some sort of milestone but folks let's keep those donations rolling in very excited to see if we can hit these incentives let's go we're in world six y'all and we're almost to kingdom hearts and uh yeah so here's another auto scroller one get. Oh, yo, yo, I, I, I'm here again. Sweet. All right. <laughs> hey, I'm Welcome okay with this. Guy. I, I will keep reading these. I'm so thrilled for this. <laughs> We have $100 from uh, Panamic who says, Good luck to Mitch and Haxer. Awesome run, awesome cause. We have $50 from Lido who says, just realized I never got my donation in and wanted to help us meet the Mario 3 bonus incentive. Thank you for that. One last push towards that fabled 3 million mark. Thank you very much. We have $100 from Forest Kitty who says, love GDQ, MSF, and everyone involved in making this possible. So hyped for SMB3. Good luck, Mitch. I know you'll be great. Love you, babe. Forest Aww. Kitty. I feel like and now, I'm don't forget, Sky, we're one world away to getting to 2.3 for that 7 7 clip. Mm -hmm. Frame perfect, sub pixel perfect, speed perfect, and pixel perfect trick mm -hmm. that we are going to make Haxer do if we can get 2.3. You clip through the floor and skip an entire level. What's not the love? <laughs> it's not random, pure skill. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> love that you have to get that to get the world record. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's a yeah, great spot. That's perfect. Okay. Here we go. Good. Yeah, thankfully he's got enough time to rebuild there. Uh, he's doing some turnbacks to make sure this guy, he shoots that spike ball up because, you know, if you get there too quick, he won't do it. So. Okay. Fox is going to fight the Hammer Brother because, again, he is on the end card spawning cycle. And in the middle of this world, we're actually going to switch it for me to spawn so we can avoid it in World 7. Which means I do hammer suit strats now. Ooh, I'm so glad I had to switch that. That's right, we brought 24 it back. hours before the run. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he tried to double bounce off those notes there. Really tough to do the times. Okay, we good. We good. Yeah. That was scary. I wanted to be quiet there because that is a scary P speed. If you can't tell, you're landing on one tile blocks. And they're ice. ice. And they're ice. <laughs> so. Oh, I spawned it. Okay, it, yep. it doesn't matter. Yeah, we are gold. Yep, stand still. Yep. Wait. Nice. Very nice. Nice. All right, so so some very tight jumps there. You want to make sure it's star. Orb. Make bro. sure you get that orb. <laughs> oh, it's upside down. Yeah. Bro. bro. You got the bro. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that. The yeah. upside down orb. Very nice. So. You'd never see Big Mario because he damage boosted unlocked the lock there in this level. So this level's pretty uncomfortable. I'm not a huge fan of it as Big Mario. There's a lot of small jumps here. Uh, not gonna get P speed. That's kind of good. I don't have to do on the on the fly decision making. And I should be able to get it back right there. Damage boost. That's okay. Come up and I don't die. So that's perfect. I need to use a P wing after this level. So take a damage no, there. No problem. Perfectly okay. No problem. And the Hammer Brothers are. You should pee. Wait, you should, right? I think I just boxed them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. You should box here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be very quiet for this whole level just because it's at a really annoying level. Nobody likes it. Oh my 
god, everything in that level one. Oh my me. god, so that's why I wanted to be quiet. So he got bad bad spike RNG, he had some lagged inputs, he didn't get the despawn, everything didn't work in that level, so I'm glad I was quiet. And he got the flower at the end, just to... Even though I played the first part of that level absolutely perfect, too. You're supposed to get the despawn, but sometimes it just, you know... Okay, so you work. have to get the hammer, brother, that's going to be in my way. Yep. You have to do that right. one first. Oh, you have to hammer first, if you can. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you have to yep, hammer. I do. I do. Okay. Hey, I happen to have one of those. Unless he's in your way, which in that case, I, I just fight a hammer, brother. Because if they go right, if they switch and go right, we'll have to see. Uh, you can't. Oh. Yeah. So you fight the one in the... The one in your way, I guess. No, it doesn't matter, because I'm going to fight the other bro. Oh, yeah. Because okay. I can't do seven. Uh, there's a much more aggressive strat here when the Hammer Brothers do this pattern, um, but we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, you need the cloud. Nothing we can do here. Well, I don't, I don't I need don't. the cloud. You don't? I don't think so. No. Oh, that's right. You can fire, you can do eight. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, guys, isn't, isn't this great? We're constantly questioning and re-questioning over and over and over again. Yep. I could hammer that rock for you right now if you want me to. Yeah, I'll take the shortcut. So, I won't. so now, now I live here again. We're in an auto scroller, right? That's yes. right. This is your your life. Welcome now. back. So, a couple things here. Number one, are you? Do you all realize that the layout says bro-op on it? First of all, instead of co-op. <laughs> nice, beautiful. <laughs> It's but our moment. Yeah. Also, It'll never change. <laughs> y'all have some friends in some very cold places, by the way. Because okay. we have a $10,000 donation from the Yeti! Woo! Right. And they say, hey all, Yeti here. It is always a good day when we see teamwork make the dream work. Shoutouts to Haxer and Mitch for this awesome run. This game has been enjoyed by so many in the same way you are playing, albeit most people play it much slower. I want to see that 2.3 hit so we can see the clip. Yo, I like that. Let's go! Let's go for that 2.3 million for seven, that seven clip. Y'all want to see them do that, right? Right? I mean, one of them will do it, and the other one will probably laugh at the other one, most likely. But Yeti, thank you so much. Y'all rock. Well, Appreciate it. One and of us will attempt it, and the other one will be like, haha, wow, you didn't get it. What a surprise. You didn't get it. What a surprise. <laughs> After like five attempts, just go and get out of there. But we're not at 2.3 yet, and we're almost out of this world, guys. We're close. We are close. All right, another fortress. This one's kind of exciting. They want to keep that leaf from 6-5 so he can fly through this and he's going to do some nice damage boosting here. And not bump his head on the ceiling. Scary ceiling right there. Very scary ceiling. And I'm afraid of ceilings more than uh, enemies. I mean, they're frightening in this game. And he's going to stomp himself a boom boom and he's going to be out of here. So... Very nicely done. Ba, 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 ba. All right, we are done that. We're not even like really looking at our score because we just we've done it so much we know and it's, that's kind of nice, mm -hmm. kind of nice. So remember that first H jump, guys. Get your capital H's out. Capital H, let's go, Haxer with the capital H. Very nice. Capital H. You did that once, once this week. You did that level Maybe. once this week, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe once. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Um. You know, you, you, that's one of those levels you kind of never forget. You can P-Wing and then get Fire in 10, by the way, so I think we'll just... Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yep. That'd be perfect. Yeah, hardest level right here. I mean, he could have rubbed at any part there, lost like two seconds. That's insane. You don't want to do that. That's embarrassing, it is. having a P-Wing and losing time. I mean, the game's yeah. giving you... Yeah. <laughs> embarrassing. Yep. All right, Sax so is going to do the for fortress so we can get fire kill on the boom booms, which saves about three seconds per boom boom fire kill. So stomping on them is a uh, is a big no no. Yeah, I want to stop on this guy. We are not going to go for six four three clip. Axer is going to on the fly make a mistake but fix it. Look at that. <laughs> Every time I do that thwomp jump, I'm pretty sure his heart rate goes like one fifty minimum. <laughs> 
That's a sweaty thwomp, though. I, I mean, know. He really, he wants. really he does. He's got conveyor belts, yeah. and he's got orbs all over the place. He's like, oh, do this one pixel jump to get past me. Ugh. That one enemy, here I come. Or one tile jump, yeah. Yeah, very nice. So I'm going to do a pretty stressful uh, 610. Um, hopefully it goes well. All right, here we go. Well, that we got is, it. Uh, Beautiful. That is one of the toughest levels in the run, period. Yeah, that's... Uh, that 3-2. World 6 has just got them. 4-4-1 four, four, and 4-4. Four, 4-4-1 four. Four, yeah. four, and 4-4 four, four is like the combo garbage. Oh, yeah, and you play them back to back. It's just terrible. It's terrible. And, uh, you know, as we mentioned, of course, I ended up playing him because Luigi cleans up the trash in this run. Clean up the trash. Yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful level there for Mitch. But speaking of auto-scrollers... Oh, yeah. Do you yep. see what we have? <laughs> oh, I love this. No, this is absolutely great. And again, we're seeing that $5 train running in here, folks. Thank you all so much. Some people buying multiple tickets to the $5 train. Let's start off with a poem, though. We have $5 from Leona, who says, A Sephiroth fight. I guess I'll donate again. Let's reach 2.5. Appreciate that. We we now have some, no, uh, no! some puns coming oh, in here, too. Gotcha. Got you guys. <laughs> Sorry, Sky, go ahead. You do that every single time, Mitch. It doesn't get old, surprisingly. Hey, I love it. They still fall for it. Hey, swipe. meme clip. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have a $55 donation from Rujasu55 who says, What does Mario use to spice up his bread? Fire flour. <laughs> And we have $50 from Asli, who says, Do you know which of Bowser's henchmen has the highest education? It's the Goo MBA. Thank you for the excellent run and practicing dad jokes to prep for September. And of course, $100 from Gut Void. How many players do you need for this run? Lack of two. Keep up the amazing work. Perfect. So what Haxer did there is he needed to stand still at a specific spot, wait for the wand to drop, and he's going to do guaranteed sub-pixel manipulation. Yep. I know that sounds weird, but uh, we need to get correct sub-pixels to get 7-1 clip. Um, you know, because you're doing Let me that. get my sweat stance here real quick yeah. for this level. Sweat stance is very... Um, not only does the sub-pixel uh, set you up to get the clip for a try standing clip, but you still have to execute it, and you don't have a lot of time. How many tries are y'all giving it? What do you think? In chat, how many tries do you He's think it will right, take? He's got the right sub pixel. Should be first try. Very nice. Let's, Let's go. go. All right. So who's ready for us to lose 50 seconds from Fast 7 2 not working? Or no, I, I don't need to. I'm going to Fire Flower. Yeah, you got yeah, Fire Flower. I'm, never mind. Yeah. We are not ready. You know what's really great about this? You know what thing I was talking about? Let's pretend for a moment Haxer wasn't dumb in World 5, all right? And just, you know, autopiloted right. Oh, Mitch just spawned the final end card. And where is it? It's on the start tile. He right. avoided it. And that's the biggest difference between now and the previous world record. So, um, yeah, it worked. Everything worked perfectly. All that, all the bro fighting and route changes and all of that, just for that right there. And that'll be the final end card that spawns. That's it, no more end card. How are we doing on that 2.3, Sky? 7.7's seven, coming up. We got about so eight levels left or something. Currently, from what I am seeing right now, I'm going to refresh just to try to get the total as close as possible here. We currently have, I want to say we're about 2.25 right now. So about another 50,000 or so left to go. That could change by the time I read this, mind you. So we are getting there. <laughs> also, shout outs to Mac and Cheese. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah shout outs to Mac and Cheese. Shout outs to the Mac yeah. and Cheese. Yeah, not bad. I mean, this would be the run that would get it. Oh, just wait. <laughs> so there's a there's a, a new clip. It's not brand new. The the concept is extremely old, like most things in Mario 3. It's a very old speed game. Uh, but the idea of using it in this run. So you guys are gonna have to focus on Haxer after I do the sea creatures level. And what's going to happen is that there's a clip at the start of five that saves about seven seconds or so. Um, and because he's using a P-Wing anyways, 
Um, runners never did it because there's a Koopa in your way, but for some reason, nobody thought of the idea of using a star. So Axler's gonna use a star, which is gonna allow him to P-Wing through through the Koopa, yep. right? And then he's going to be able to clip into the pipe, and that's gonna save a lot of time. Uh, we missed it in the world record, so if he misses it, uh, it's still fine. Um, and the good thing about that clip, sorry, I'm trailing off a little bit. I'm trying to get these sea creatures here in, your, in my way here. Um, but the good thing about that clip, I don't even know anymore. Oh, it's, it, it has a very big subpixel width. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. the one. That it's, it's one of the easiest clips because it's a, it's extremely high window, but the execution is still really tough. Yeah. I am sorry, guys. Sea creatures are always are always yeah. bugging me. They, I know. I know all the S and B three fans out there. They love the sea creatures. Can we yeah. get like? Can we get some donations for the sea creatures in seven four? Guys? Yeah. I mean, come on. Has I anyone ever see, noticed? Like, 206 or 2 million 260,000 by the end of this level. Yeah. Let's go. Now, what I was going to say, has anyone ever noticed that the sea creatures have a thing for shooting their babies at you? I don't know what, the, like, the, the boss bass shoots yeah, a little fish out true. of the mouth, the bloopers shoot the little four babies at you. Why? What's going on with that? The plants shoot their babies? Yeah. I don't, what, I don't, I don't question it. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Uh, can we have one donation right. for the auto scroller real quick? Just one. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a great one here. Bat the Cat donates $100 saying, Mitch and Beard Mitch have made my <laughs> wing. Best of luck. I'm sorry, Hagsler. That was just too good to not read. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so everything that I just said, I'm going to be quiet. Let Hagsler get through this uh, level. If he misses it, he goes right up the pipe. So keep an eye out for that, guys. He's going to P-Wing. He's gonna start. So hopefully he's got the right sub pixels. We'll see how this goes. Let's go! Let's go! Very nice clip. So as you can see, the star helps out a lot there. Hey, get back here, buddy. Hey, hey, get back here, Turtle Shell. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? I didn't want to damage there. That's really bad. So I was <laughs> just <laughs> taking it slow. Taking it slow. You know what? Your clip block is, uh, I think you should just do 7-7 seven, seven anyways. I mean, we might get to that point that, uh, you know, you know, maybe we could get uh, a few thousand more dollars, you know, maybe 45 of them. Yeah, we need about another 45, you know. But your clips are pretty good right now. Ooh, they're working. They're working for us. We got a couple more left. This is a gold world set. Looking pretty close. Not a big deal. Uh, Mitch is gonna P-Wing the next level anyway. He ideally didn't want to take damage there because it's tougher to get over that plant. Yep. Um, and he just took it safe, so not a big deal. Okay. But he's gonna equip that P-Wing, so no harm, no foul. He did try to clip into the pipe there to do a little bit of uh, uh, wrong warp style action. All right, so unfortunately this was the last moment where Haxer needs to decide if he's going for 7-7, but I think he's just gonna go for it anyways, right? Let's wait and see. <laughs> Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. <laughs> let, we'll let him decide. Oh, Listen, he's going man. for it. I'm a gambler man, all right? We, we, we've won twice. Why Let's go for times. number three. Why not three times? Very exciting, very exciting. Only like five tries, five or six tries, yeah. then then get out of the level. Yeah. Sounds fair. Okay. <laughs> Two clouds. <laughs> hey, if you guys notice, my inventory is a little pathetic and on the embarrassing side. I got two warp whistles, two clouds, and a P. <laughs> Don't worry, honey, your inventory is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Haxer has. Uh, Mario 3's version of Thumb Shredder, I guess. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But like I said, pixel perfect, sub pixel perfect, speed perfect, position everything perfect. Let's go. That was close. Oh, that was close. One more, one more try. Ah, oh, nice try. Very nice try. So we tried five. Um, when he goes over top of the pipe like that, he is he's off by probably a pixel or two. And when he short hops and goes in front of the pipe, he's off by probably a pixel or two. Yeah. 
Uh, very, very tough. If you don't do that in the 100% world record solo, it's very hard to beat the record. So, and, uh... Gonna need some help for your friend RNG. RNG, that's right. <laughs> that was a very nice attempt. I thought, because Luigi's green and the pipe's green, something. I know, you know right? Like, and it was working before the run, wasn't it? All right, like so I, was, I... Yeah. I got full, full-on sweat at the end of World 7. I'm not yep. a huge fan of it, but we'll see. This, this is where it gets tough. And first we get a bad Mario Maker level, as Aqua would say. Nice pipe entry, should be able to keep P-Speed. Beautiful. I want to lose P-Speed on the other side, I think I still will. I'm gonna run a little bit, yep. Got it back, duck jump in case the fire hits me. Beautiful. Very nice. Holy jumping. Hammer suit's back. Hammer suit's back! That's right. <laughs> Brought it back. Brought it out of retirement in the 100% co-op. Don't worry, guys. I got, I got one more clip for you. Okay. Uh, so this level's not too crazy. Um, this is, we kind of compare this the same as like the pyramid, very physically demanding level, lots of left and right ducks, and, ah. Uh, so right there, he was, he was probably just a couple pickles, pixels, <laughs> pickles, pickles, <laughs> a couple pickles, um, under the spot where he wanted to hit, so again, um, out of the four clips in 100%, 7-1 and 7-5 are really the, we wanted those ones yeah. anyways, yeah. so that's pretty good. All right, now another very stressful level, and I apologize for any death or loss of hammer suit. It's oh, you're gonna be great. Ugh, I hope this so. This is one of the toughest levels in the game. Looks very neat. You guys are gonna love this. Gave him a little trouble, but he's out of there. Beautiful level. That is uh, oh. yeah, one of the most technical levels in the run to pull off. And uh, unfortunately for Mitch, he had to be well versed on both strats, both fire and hammer for this run because. Uh, yeah, I might have had to do fire there. <laughs> Just depends on uh, what happens, so. So, Star here is actually pretty clutch because he can get the P speed at the bottom. Um, but it's deceiving. The star is actually not the faster way of doing it. Yep. Um, so you would you would think it is because you get that P speed. Oh, so I clip. Just for you guys. So like we said before, payback to Haxer. Remember what we said, right? The person who beats the world does the following level in the next world. Well, guess what? That's tank one. That's another, what, two minute auto scroller. So I got about and, four minutes and here. And guess what your reward is after that? You get the Navy. So guess what we get? Five minutes of auto scrollers, people. So Five Sky, minutes. if you have them racked up, let's hear it. Oh, we absolutely do. And uh, shout outs to, uh, the, what was it? Like $300 saved on a washer dryer. Had to bring that one back really quickly. <laughs> All right, we have a $10 donation from Suraya who says, I love these co-op runs. Watching Hacks and Mitch work together and change plans on the fly is always incredibly impressive and just shows how skilled and knowledgeable they are. So glad we get to see the No Wrong Warp run as it keeps GDQ going just a little bit longer. Let's get that three million. Whee! Let's go. The hands will help it GDQ go longer too. Yeah, That's very right. exciting. <laughs> also, I believe this one was requested uh, by Mitch earlier. Fifty dollars from Wheels. He says, "For all the sea creatures out there watching, I'm so <laughs> sorry you have to watch these two dudes pick off your brethren with fire underwater." I never understood don't question myself. It. Don't don't question it. All right. This one may be one of my favorite puns of the night here. $50 from Game RevX, who says, What's the Cheap Cheap's favorite part of a movie? The bloopers. Ah, oh, <laughs> true. I was, I was actually thinking of that one. I was like, what, what could it be? We have a $1,500 donation from Anonymous, who says, If I donate now, it goes to three different incentives. Let's-a-go. 
Speaking of which, folks, again, Sephiroth, currently $51,121 out of $280,000. So if you would like to see that incentive map, please get those donations in. Currently, two point. 262 million right now let's see if we can get to that 5 million because remember folks at the end of this run there will be a kingdom hearts 2 critical mode but critical level one would sound so much more dangerous and difficult wouldn't that let's get those donations and no incentive left behind y'all 25 dollars from kiwako who says 25 dollars oh, for first try on. clip on 7 1 you made me nervous there Sorry. for a sec i almost got an off-screen wand grab yeah Okay, I thought you took a hit because I wasn't looking at the screen. I'm like, please hang on to that hammer suit. What <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, man. Uh, $25 from Glitch Ritual, who says, Charlatans, they're skipping the toad houses. This 100% run is a sham. We were just talking about the uh, white mushroom houses before we start. I'm like, are you all going through that? They're like, no. And I'm like, aw. Hey, you can't get all <laughs> the mushroom houses or the card tiles. It's impossible. And one full they're not included. If, right. if they if you could, they probably would be. I, yeah, I bet they would be. So, um, While we're on this auto-scroller, because World 8 gets kind of stressful, we're, um, can I have just a little bit of time, Sky? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Just let me know when you're ready. Yeah, so the reason I need to get um, a one cloud is because after you do the fortress in the dark section, there is uh, Tank 2. A lot of people know about Tank 2. And if Paxer does the fortress and then I go and do Tank 2, then he also has to come through the transition and go up to Bowser's castle. But if I cloud, if I cloud the fortress and do Tank 2 and then he does the fortress, then I go straight to Bowser's castle and Haxer doesn't have to come up into the Bowser's area. Um, so the cloud there is for like um, a pretty big time save of screen transitions and pipe transitions. Yeah, um, yeah I just wanted to explain, because I was saying earlier we needed the clouds and P-Wings. Mm -hmm. We know why we needed the P-Wings, but now we need to know why I needed the clouds. So yeah, yeah you're good to go, Sky. All right. We have a $100 donation from Essen who says, I appreciate all the work put on by the staff and runners. AGDQ and SGDQ are the two weeks of the year that remind me of all the good that can come from simply playing video games with friends and family. Aww. Not everyone is a pro gamer, but anyone can be a pro donator. Good luck to all runners who still have runs coming up. Amazing job to all those runners that have completed their runs and keep practicing to all those runners still waiting for their moment in the spotlight. I love it. We have $25 from Gerald the Shaman who says, I always wanted to be a plumber like Mario, but I was always too afraid to take the plunger. You know, plunger. I'm sure you get it. Anyways, thank you for putting on such a neat event and shout out to my friend who turned me on to this marathon many years ago, Grim. Thank you. Now you get to play Haxer. Yay, it's me. I'm Luigi. I'm the one. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. So, uh, Scott, you're good to go for another minute. All right, yep. sounds good. We have $200 from Xylox who says, let's get that Kingdom Hearts level one critical. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Um, just, to, just to let you know, Sky, after this Navy, we're probably not going to do any more donations. Because, yeah. Like, Tank 2, we could, but I think we'll just be in the zone by then. No, that makes sense. I mean, this is the home stretch after it all. It is the home stretch. Yep. Anonymous donates $50 saying, let's get that bonus fire run and that level one KH2 incentive. Time travel, you knew that's where it's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> we have $50 from Braylon who says, can't wait to see the best SMB3 player, Mitch Flower Power and Haxer donate at the co-op 100% run. But why make a GDQ end early? Donate to the any percent no wrong word run as we all need more SMB3. And again, we do have that, but I extend that sentiment to the Sephiroth incentive. So same idea, folks. If you want to see more GDQ, that Sephiroth fight will certainly extend it. There's an interesting thing here. Normally, we want to enter the hand stages because it's 100%, which is fine. And if the hand animation pulls us in, but hand one is actually really annoying with hammer suit. So if I do cross hand one and I don't get pulled in, I'm going to go straight to hand two. Um, it is a little bit of a time loss, but you could lose your hammer suit in hand one. And I might have to play it anyways. We'll see. I got to play it anyway. So well, you guys will see what I mean. So that was annoying. That was also annoying. And 
and that was also annoying. So there we go. So I definitely didn't want to do that hand level, but I kept the hammer suit, so we're good. Yep. Okay, it's definitely one you want to be practiced on, which you probably haven't done any hammer suit practice whatsoever. So, so right there, Haxer didn't get pulled in by that hand. So as you guys can see, he entered the level like normal, and a lot of people don't know that about Mario 3. The hands aren't always there to just pull you in. Um, so if the hand doesn't pull you in, it's not like you can't play it. You yeah. can enter it like a normal stage. So let's see if we can not get pulled in by the third one. Nice! So we only got pulled in by one hand. Very nice. Some loop de loops. Weep, weep, weep. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> All right, so we are on the Air Force. This is the fast moving airship. And I think what's interesting about this one is that it's not only moving fast, um, but Mario's momentum is slightly different the way he, he handles left and right. Um, it's like, I think it's, I think it would be considered more sensitive uh, for the left and right. It's almost like he gets a little bit more momentum easier. Fireball trajectory is different as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so a lot of you, you think it's oh, it's just fast, so it's awkward, but it's really changing your controls a little bit, and that's why a lot of people uh, fail on this one, including myself. Rip, little Mitch. Very nice. He's got a couple little annoying setups right at the end. That was the weirdest thing I'd ever seen. Same. He like stepped on it, it like lifted him up, but he, he got it anyways. I don't know. Oh, you didn't get 7,000 points. Nice. <laughs> go Bam Bams. Yeah, let's go. Go Bam Bams. Oh, All right, this is my last uh, stressful level. Luckily, I have a star for it. Uh, it should be uh, three input or yeah, three inputs to the left in my inventory, hopefully. Yep. Uh, not on no, page two either. It sh yeah, it should be. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I landed on those ledges there. I didn't want to risk it. Tough one, tough level. So we got through. So now after Haxer does his level, we'll see the combo with the cloud. But first, Mr. Sun. Which would be really nice if I had a hammer suit. Very nice. I wanted to give uh, Haxer a little bit of quiet time there. This, this home stretch is one small mistake, and Ooh. it's like, it's just becomes that, that hill climb's really tough. Mm -hmm. So, But now Mitch gets a little bit of a breather before the final level here. He's going to cloud past the fortress, which he had mentioned previously is going to allow him to go straight to the last screen, um, which means I won't have to use the pipe. So I save all of that overworld movement and also that pipe transition. So, pretty clutch um, cloud, man. Yeah, pretty significant uh, item usage there. I don't think we discovered that right away, too. I think that took a little bit for us. Yeah. If you notice, there is a lot of stuff like that. How we chose levels was to prevent a lot of like things like screen transitions and overworld movement, um, playing end cards, stuff like that. So a lot of this run is just avoiding kind of, you know, some of those little extra time losses from having both players play certain things. So, that's great that uh, we only get to see that one once. And, um, as it should be, the Fortress in World 8 is the level before the last level. I don't know why they did it this way. I think a lot of people told me that they were expecting more levels in World 8 as like a kid or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Say hi, Boom Boom. I didn't know if I killed Boom. 
Very nice. So we're gonna give Haxer a little bit of quiet time here too because this fortress is like the same. It's got silly things. So he's pretty safe after the conveyor belt room. After room two, he's pretty safe, but I wanted to give him the full 40. Very nice. All right, coming up on Bowser's Castle. It's our last boom boom. All right. Now. Coming up on time when I go through the door. You guys know the drill. Don't worry, guys. I'm just going to sit here and look, look pretty. Every man clip right there, the one-up clip. Get it first try, very nice. Tough room here. That's a very important duck input. If you don't duck there, you're not gonna make it. Bye, Bowser. Oh, Bowser is out. See you later, Bowser, right on. Um, so time as soon as I press up to go in the door. I'll give you guys a... And time. Wow. Yo, GG. GG, man. GG, no, dude. That was no, good. That was a good run. No. Yeah. And uh, so we we hit the incentive for the any percent no wrong warp, so I'm not going anywhere. Um, Scott, you can chime in if you need to. Well, first off, I did want to say GG. Congratulations to y'all for that. What a run. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was actually uh, much better than we expected. We were only plus 50. Yeah. Only plus 50 seconds. That's yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And 40 of those was in 5.3. You know, I think <laughs> we, we have a little bit of time because it was a 125 estimate. I know you guys have probably been wanting to see it. All uh, right. You're going down. No, you're going down. You're going down. <laughs> uh, you're going, you're down. going down. All right. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta. Let's go. get rid of this yeah, power for that. The Thing's cheapness. Okay. It's broken. Come, come on, come here. Oh, I can't. Oh look, look at how pretty he is. He's waiting for you. All right, Chad, oh. are, we, are we team Hacker or team Mitchell? Easy. Oh. Come here, come here. I'll go for it. Oh, you fell. I could have. I know. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> no! Oh, Hacker <laughs> goes down. <laughs> And Mitch with the win! Oh, uh, the self sabotage I was too sweaty for it. <laughs> too sweaty. Oh, man. All right, so you guys got the battle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start up the uh, SMB3 Any% percent No Wrong Warp incentive that was met. I'm going to go ahead and reset, and uh, we, we, we going now? We good? Yeah. Is that so what you guys want? Cool. Okay, so... The bro battle. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move my chair a little bit here. Uh, Axer's gonna become the cameraman and just kind of. I think it's angled right. I think it's just need to zoom. Pretty good. Yeah, so you just need to zoom so you guys can. That's little too close. Hi guys. How about that? That's perfect. Oh wait, you guys want me to do the wrong warp too? No, no wrong warp. Oh, no wrong warp. Yeah, we we made the no wrong warp. It probably good. will be like 13 minutes. Like yeah. be... Oh, the estimate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, about 13 minutes. Give it that. Yep. Sounds good. Sorry about that. Let's go. So this is a little bit more stressful for me because I'm going to try and showcase um, some new strategies Again, every time you say new in Mario Bros. 3, nothing's really new. They're just not added into runs at certain points yet. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm def I definitely want to try and show off some new things. So that's why we got the high incentive. And we always got hands, which hands can take up about a minute of my time, probably over a minute if I get unlucky. 1-3 uh, is going to be a really cool level if you guys are ready to see it. 
Uh, and I'm here to just help out. <laughs> Commentary, I guess. Okay, so uh, we are ready. So um, on go from three. So three, two, one, go. All right. Hexer can take the reins. Yeah, so 1-1 one, one is going to be pretty much the same as what you saw um, during the 100% run. Doing the pipe run for safety normally wouldn't do that, but it's not that much of a time difference. But obviously, this category is so short, you want to save um, as many of those frames as you possibly can. Um, so you're going to see him do things like <laughs> try to run down the hill as much as possible to save as many frames as he possibly can. Um, also, 1-2 one, one, sucks. Yeah. 1-2 is one of his least favorite levels because it has a sub-pixel dependent P-speed, which it looks like, you know, he did get it, so beautiful stuff there. And you'll notice he runs down all these hills, getting this, these extra frames because you actually do go forward a little faster running downhill. Save some RNG with flour. All right, so here it is, guys. You're going to see hopefully something cool. I really don't yeah. want to mess it up. So let's see if we can... I'll be a little quiet on this one. Very nice. Yeah, that's kind of the change between the old route and the new one, is um, grabbing the leaf here in 1-3 is going to allow him to do a much faster fortress. So, that was sick that we did it. Really good. Really good. <laughs> ah, um, man, we did it. Normally, again, he wouldn't kick the shell, but because we're doing a marathon, he doesn't want to take damage, he wants to keep this leaf, he's going to do a little bit of safety. So, just for this level. And practicing really heavily here on that is beautiful. That is beautiful. 292! 292! That's 292. exactly what you want to see. Saving those frames, so doing a great job here. Now we're going to see him double whistle. You uh, get the World 8. And we're going to get to see him play World 8 all over again. You just saw World 8, you're going to see it again. This time with just fire. So, what's my chance of getting across the hands? Oh, that's a great question. So, the chance of getting pulled in by a single hand is 50-50, right? 50 to pull in, 50 to not. Odd and even, essentially. Yep. There are three of them, however. So, his odds, if you do, you know, pretty math experts out there, one half times one half is one fourth times one half is one eighth. So, one and eight chance of getting across the hands. Um, with that being said, the interesting thing is it is frame dependent. So there are certain clusters of frames in the game that give you better odds to get no hands. Yeah, so odd and even isn't consecutive all the time. Yeah. So Mitch actually um, has been kind of delaying when he starts his runs and seeing a lot of success in getting no hands versus, you know, just starting the game um, right away. And that's something that we know just based on, you can look at the memory of the game and see that, oh, uh, when you get to the hands in this category from just powering on instantly is a region of low probability. So. That's right. Um, so there's a boomerang bro at the end of this level, and um, much like the Hammer Brothers, the chest won't appear until everything's off the screen. The Hammer Brother and the Hammer Brothers like weapons, so hammers and boomerangs. So if the boomerang bro moves forward and throws the boomerang, well, the boomerang's gonna be on the screen longer, but if the boomerang bro moves backwards, the boomerang will be on the screen less time. So we want the boomerang bro to move yep. backwards here so I can try and save max time. But even if he moves backwards, that's still not the most time you can save. So he moved forward because he doesn't like me. So the boomerang <laughs> bro is on the screen for a little bit longer, but I still grabbed it, so we're good. But you'll see he, he grabbed that chest as early as he possibly could there. It's just so a little bit of quiet for just one second. I wanna make sure I get anyways. That's something new he's been doing is he's been get, using the leaf there, getting P-speed and flying up into the block instead of jumping up into there. I gotta thank Zikabi for giving me the idea of that. Um, my failed attempts for not using a strategy like that were, were not high, so I never thought of changing up what I was doing, but um, after seeing what he does, I changed what I do a little bit that works for me, because, you know, everyone does what works for you, but my success rate is 100% with that, so. Yeah. But hey, I also Mitch. have this one to do here. Uh, just one sec, I have a crazy clip that I want to try and do on this tank. Hey, 
Airwalk! Oh my gosh, that was so close. Okay, go ahead, Sky. I wanted to challenge y'all. If you want to participate in the $5 train, let's do $5 per hand. It's for a good cause. I will match y'all on that as well. I will match $5 right. per hand. Sure. $5, $5 per, per hand. hand. Cause he's not getting it. That's right. So it's going to be easy for uh, my pocket. No, yeah. you're getting, you may get at least one for charity. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> So I'm gonna need a little bit more quiet time after the hands, that's when the run actually, yeah. and I'm gonna go for Bowser's tool assisted speed run strat, which isn't that anymore because we can do it. I am definitely gonna try that. That's gonna be crazy. Ooh, getting hand to you, all right, just one. All right, that's $5 right there. Five bucks. Um, also, as you guys can see, I, I haven't been holding back really much in this category. So again, for 8-1 and 8-Fortress, I'm probably not going to hold back either. So we might see some uh, mistakes even at death, but we can we can bounce back. It's okay. And I decided that I wasn't going to go... I wasn't going to go safe for the any percent no wrong warp. Such a short category. Um, lots of people need to see some of these cool new strategies. So 8-1 uh, is one of them. I become a lot more aggressive in 8-1. Hexer will be able to explain uh, when I get to 8-2. Or in you can do it now. Yeah, so um A1, normally there's more turnbacks that you do at the beginning because you gotta avoid some piranha plants that are there, the pipes are really tall. Mitch is like, you know, let's remove some of that. Let's make most of it lateral movement, right? And so and just forward. So yeah, he's not gonna do a ton of turnbacks. It's gonna be a little crazy. Um he'll do a couple just for safety, but um, he's gonna try to save, I think it's about a second he can save the total in that level. There's, you know, just doing it normal. Yeah, so I could easily take damage, I could easily take a death. Luckily I fought a hand, so I have a leaf back up, I do yep. level 8 slow, 8-1 eight slow, 8-2 eight slow, get the Firefly back in the fortress and just kind of clean up. But I'm always gonna go for the Bowser's Task Castle. And that's going to require me doing a wall jump in the basement section and a clip and like two frames to spare to kill the Thwomp Star. It's going to be a nightmare, but let's get through this 8 1 first. Oh, it took it from me. So you that's had everything. I yeah. yeah, I had everything. I had the hard part. Yeah. I did the hard part, messed up the easy part, but we kept our fire flower, so we're good. So what happened there was I stood up, I let go down too early and Mario stood up and his head was in the block. Yeah. So it mimicked clipping, right? It happens when Mario's inside blocks. And now we get to see Mitch Bal Sun. this new strategy at the end here where he jumps that second no block and full jumps off of it and he won't take damage all right so i'm not going to use a star here and it's going to result in a single to two frame jump at the start here with the death waffle nice got it that's the jump that's really tough yep. so he gets conveyor p speed here I got secondary P speed. Yeah. There's a new strategy where I could get early, early P speed. Um, but whatever. It's a little tougher. He builds on the first conveyor um, instead. So just a little earlier. Yeah, great fortress. Very nice fortress. Almost. I, see, I lost the arrow there. That was yeah. what you don't want. So we have one last tank. Uh, Tank Brigade, as you guys just saw in the 100% co-op, and then a very, very special Bowser's Castle that has, like, probably a 1% chance less than... It's just so unlikely. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip the star before I get to Bowser's Castle, and I'm going to go through the first door at the elevator, which is like, what? We've never seen you do that before. And that's because there's no other way of doing it, really, unless you have Hammer Suit. But I'm going to perfectly try and time my movement to nail a wall jump, and big Mario wall jump is incredibly difficult. Um, but I have to nail the wall jump fast enough so that I can kill the Thwomp with the star, which is probably about a three-frame window. 
And then ideally after that, I want to run down the stairs and nail a wall clip. So I need a wall jump, three frame window star kill, and then a clip. Uh, most likely what's going to happen is we're going to... I'm going to go through the door, you're going to watch me jump into a wall, and then I'm going to do Bowser's Castle normally. Ideally, that's probably <laughs> what's going to happen. Yeah, actually, the trick occurred in Mitch's former world record and then also Kuru's former world record. So it's been done twice in an actual run. So it's no longer TAS. Um, so it is not TAS, that is correct. But the current world record actually saves enough time elsewhere. Yeah, come back, Taz. All right, here we go. I can't do turnbacks. So that was it. So I needed to get that wall jump there, but I didn't get it. We got to go back. I can only dream of getting that. So now I'm gonna go back. So that is a bit of a, you know, you normally reset there. Yeah. Now the house castle is gonna be the same as what you saw in our run, except it needs 35 fireballs instead of, what, like three hammers? Again, stressful room here, nice turn backs, nice duck. Nice! Very nice. So, time on door again. Whew. Very nice. Oh, thank you so much, GDQ. This has been amazing. And time. Whew. Very nice. We were able to get some pretty good fire kills. Um, yeah, thank you so much, GDQ, for having us. This has been amazing. Um, thank you, chat, and all the watchers, guys. We nailed the incentives. That was amazing. That was yeah. a really good run yeah, uh, with me and Haxer, and shout out to Haxer for coming down. We uh, we got vaccinated, and we got real safe to get ready to come and uh, put on a good show for, for you guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Haxer's here. If he, if he if there's anything he wants to say, go follow Haxer. Follow me, obviously. Thanks for uh, making it a 100% run. That's the what we wanted to play. Um, really appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you to GDQ for putting these on. It's a great cause. Uh, I know a lot of people put a lot of work into these, and it really is appreciated, and it's always an honor um, to be able to participate in these. So just thank you guys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, thank you so much. Woo! Man, we're sweating. That was good. <laughs> yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Yo, thanks. Thanks a lot, guys, and, um, yeah. Oh, see you next time. See you next time. Woo!